Welcome Firebirds fans to day four out here at Eldridge Field. I'm Susie and I'm here with manager Kelly Nicholson. So coach, kind of a tough loss last night. Can we get your opinions on the game? Well, I think it was kind of a typical Cape League game. I think those, you know, first couple games were a little uh, different for the Cape League. You know, there were some runs scored and, and uh, normally a five run lead is pretty safe and our guys came back and scored six. And even with four three in the first game is seven runs in game one is, is a lot. So what you saw yesterday is hopefully you're going to see a lot more of. Uh, I thought it was a good game. Uh, both teams played okay. You know, we only had five hits and they made three errors and uh, we just missed turning a double play at the end. So uh, I was pleased with, I thought we did some things well. I, I, I thought we did a lot of things well yesterday and we're always going to try to try to dwell on the positive. Can we talk a little bit more specifically about Arakawa and his performance? Yeah, I was just speaking with Jared during uh, BP, and I thought he threw the ball really, really well yesterday. Uh, you know, gave up a run, and I asked him, I said, hey, if you could take one thing back, what would it be? He said, you know, that walk, and that walk led to a run, and I, I think when Kyle Crockett walked that kid in the ninth inning, he wound up scoring. So you can't do that and expect a win. You know, you, you can't give up free passes in this league. They capitalize, and you got to tip your cap to, to Brewster. But I thought Jarrett threw the ball really, really well. I thought his command was good. Uh, he worked both sides of the plate really well. I thought what he did exceptionally well yesterday is that he pitched in to right-handers, which is sometimes difficult to do for lefties. But he did a good job. And I think any time you can go out and give up one run and, and throw five or six innings, and you're going to be uh, you're going to be pretty successful. Again, you had a great performance out of the bullpen. We saw Pfeiffer and Covey. Are we going to be seeing a lot of them this season? Yeah, you bet. Uh, I was really happy the way the bullpen performed last night. Pfeiffer was really good. I think he faced three hitters. Covey faced three hitters, was really good. Kind of sat at 94, 95 oh, last night. Boy. And I loved, I told Kyle, Kyle Crockett out of the game, I loved the way he threw the baseball. Uh, even though he got had a little tough luck and I loved watching him compete. I love watching him pitch. Everything is down, and he's he. If he continues to pitch like that, he's going to have a good summer. We kind of have a little bit of a Kentucky reunion going yeah. on tonight. I think that's going to mess with their heads at all. What do you expect? I think I think both sides are. <clears throat> excuse me. Probably going to have a little fun with that. I'm looking forward to seeing both these young men throw, and you know, hopefully Trevor God will come in and, and get a save tonight. <laughs> Well, just overall expectations, both defensively, offensively for both teams? Well, I, you know, Hartwich is a, <clears throat> obviously they're the, the defending champions, and Stevie Engler always puts out a good club. I'm looking forward to seeing them play tonight. I'm looking forward to seeing Latrell pitch, and I'm lo really looking forward to seeing Grundy throw. All right. Oh, do you have more to add? No, that's it. That's good. <laughs> okay. Well, there you have it. I'm Susie Milano, that was manager Kelly Nicholson. I'd also like to say Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there, especially to my dad in San Diego. It's back to you, Sam Kevin. <laughs>